What up, it's your boy Swift Man, you know what I'm saying, this is the so called podcast, and today we have Chalmers, what it do, you already know the vibes, man. Chalmers, we have Chalmers here today, I want you to introduce yourself, let the people know what you do. Alright, so basically, uh, of course, first things first, I'm an artist, mm-hmm. like that's that's the main thing, that's my bread and butter right there. I'm an artist, I'm a videographer, photographer, graphic designer, I do engineering, and I'm a dancer. And I just got into modeling, so I guess you could say I'm a model too now. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. How did you get your foot in the door as far as modeling? Modeling, uh, I just started going to castings and stuff, and then actually someone came to me, it was like, you model? I was like, nah. It was yeah. like, you should come model this and this. And then also, you know, tier one models, they, they the virtual, shout out virtual, so he came to me and he was like, you know, join my modeling thing, my modeling agency, let's, let's run it up. Okay. I'm like, okay, sure, let's do it. And ever since then, you know, I just been getting booked and stuff like that, so it's lit. That's what's up, that's what's up. So, as far as the music, you say the music is your bread and butter. Mm-hmm. Do you have a single out right now, an album out right now? Uh, got I, got a, I, got a, I got a lot of singles out, but the main single that I'm pushing right now is um, Another Flip. Now, that's my real bread and butter. Another Flip is what's really getting me, you know, the motion that I got. You know, it went from step yeah. to Another Flip. You know what I'm saying? And now, Another Flip, I'm about to come out with a remix to it. I'm not revealing who, who's on the remix. Okay, okay. It's gonna be somebody special though. You see me? So yeah, definitely gonna be lit. Okay, that's what's up. Now, we know it's like, it's extremely hard. It's crazy hard being in this music business. Um, almost to our fault, you almost don't have, you can't sleep, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so how, what, what keeps you going, being in this music? What keeps you going, what's your drive? My drive is honestly, for one, I can't stay still. Yeah. Like, I'm a person, I gotta move. I gotta go, I gotta go do this. I'm yeah. gonna go do this. Yeah. But my real job is my passion, of course. I love music. Like, this, I love making music. Like, that's why sometimes, you know, you'll see me, like, I had a country song. I threw a country song out there, see what that did. Yeah. Then I got a pop song. I didn't put that out yet, but, you know, that's in the works. But my job is really just, you know, knowing that, knowing that I can make a difference for my family, too. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because... Once I really get in the door, like the real door of, the, of all of this, it's up. Everybody's good. No one's got to work. My old boy is what? He's in his, he just hit his 60s. Yeah. And he's still working? Like, nah, that got to go. Yeah, you feel me? Not. That got to go. Okay. Yeah, by the way, I heard the, I heard the, the country song. Mm-hmm. Dope song, by the way. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah, I think you should push that. So, um, is that something that you were just trying out? Or is that a man's angle that you're pushing right now? Um, as far as the country song... I was about to like push it full force, yeah. but then I kind of, I ain't gonna say fell back on it. We're kind of, we're, we're gonna go the different route with it. We're gonna go, you know, sinking with it. Cause it's a big TV song. It could go, it could go into movies, it could go into shows. So that's basically the, the lane that we're, we're gonna go at it first. Hey, yeah, definitely have that feel. Now, before we go any further, won't you tell the people where they could find you and you know, IG as well. You can definitely find me on IG at I M C H A R M, the number three in R. That's really everywhere. You can find me there on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. I'm Charmer. It's everywhere. And, and on so all, all platforms, Charmer, which is C H A R M, the number three in R. Clap, lock it in. What up? It's your boy Swift Slate, and you now tuning in to Swift Talk Podcast. Now we're going to switch the segment to what we're talking about the latest music news and what's been going on in the music business. Now, the latest music news is that boy uh, 6 9 link up with hmm. Kodak Black. Right. And they got a brand new song out, and um, the streets feeling some type of way right the now. The streets don't like it. The streets don't like it. So how do you feel about that right now? Me? Yeah. I honestly don't know what to feel about it. I'm going to be real with you. I really don't. I mean, I could get, I get both sides. Yeah. I get both sides, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, certain people's like, oh, he sold his soul for a million. I don't really consider that selling his soul. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just did a verse with the kid. But I don't know. How do you feel about it? Um, I don't think a street nigga should have done that. Just from a street nigga perspective uh-huh. and how they should stand on business and their principles, I don't think that he should have did that on that route. But but then again, a million dollars is a lot of money. It is. <laughs> it is. So you see, the thing is, like, people say, oh, no, you shouldn't have did it. But I feel like if they was in that same position, yeah. they would have did it. They would have folded. All right, 6 9 you want a verse? And then the way, the way Kodak came on the verse was, like, yeah. he didn't come on it, like... 
he came on and saying like I only did this for my for my family, for yeah. my kid types of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I get it, but at the end of the day, music music is also acting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a whole bunch of actors in music. People say they do this, they do this. They're not doing it for real. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like most of these people are actors too. It is pretty much acting. Now the next topic is, um, do you feel like Gunna escaped the snitch allegation? Now that he has a hot album out and everybody's bumping it. All day in America. See, this is what I feel like, right? I feel like that don't matter no more. Yeah. As long as you popping and you can pop, because you gotta understand, the the, the the you know snitches get stitches cold yeah. and whatever is a street thing. But the music industry is in street. Street, yeah. So it's like, the music industry is like, if this music is good and I'm rocking with it, yeah. then I'm rocking with it. It's that simple. Yeah. And if this person could, could pop and trend and all that, then they're going to keep they're gonna keep making money. There's no way around it. You made a great point right here because a lot of these street dudes coming into the music business and then I've, they dipping and dabbing the streets with the music business. So uh -huh. they, they kind of feel like they're in a tough place. Honestly, this is how I feel. Yeah. You can't mix the streets with business. Yeah. So if you're doing, if you're a street dude, then stay being a street dude. Yeah. But if you're an artist, then be an artist. Yeah. If you're gonna be an artist, because like certain people like that was really street dudes and got into the industry and they lives done changed. They said, you know what? Like, there's bigger things to this than this. And the streets, you know, speaking from somebody who's been in that predicament, the streets has only been a fold on you it's not really gonna do anything for you it's not yeah. gonna make you no money unless you like a big you know Time yeah or something like that but it's not gonna make you no money and it's not gonna it's not gonna last yeah that's the main thing now you, now yourself would you work with, with a like a well-known snitch would i work with a well-known snitch yeah i don't think my my personality i don't think i would be able to do that i don't think my personality would allow that you yeah. know just just being real it's like nah I also, so you feel like if you're a street dude, if you're gonna do music, you should get like the street stuff. You can't do both. It's hard to do both yeah. because you're not gonna be a big artist or a known artist without beef. You know what I'm saying? And being in the streets without beefing. If you're in the streets, you're gonna have some type of beef. People like sometimes you make it and people just hate you just because you 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 made it. Yeah. Like ah, oh, like true. that nigga. He he up now. You know what I'm saying? So imagine if you're in the streets doing it. Sometimes people just want to test your card. Oh, you said this in your song? I want to test it. Yeah. People do that. You know what I'm saying? So if you, like real street dudes ain't going to put it in their song. A real street dude is just going to do what they do. Let it be tucked in the in the in in this side of the corner and keep doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? You'll never know what he did. Definitely. A real street dude. Definitely. But the people who just want clout and this and this. Oh, I did this and this. Oh, your man's da -da. Like, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Yeah, definitely. Now, you heard his opinion and how he feel about the whole topic. Now, we're going to switch to the next subject of the show. We play a game where we call it Hot Pick, right? Hot I'm Pick? Give, yeah, Hot Pick. I'm going to give you two names, and you choose one, and you let us know, you let us know why. Uh, okay. Nikki or Megan Thee Stallion? Nikki or Megan Thee Stallion? Yeah. Like, on a song or as in, like... There's an individual uh, of all Nikki or Meg Stallion. <laughs> That's a hard thing, boy. I ain't even gonna lie. I mean, I fuck with both of them in, in their own type of way, yeah. honestly. But if I would pick, I'd definitely neutral. pick them. I, I could go neutral. Yeah, you could go neutral. I would pick them both, but if I could pick one, I would pick Nikki. Because, you know, Nikki just, she's just like, to me, she's been around way longer. And I feel like she's the, the goat. She's the queen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's there's people that get passed down and passed down. You know what I'm saying? Nikki is the one who's, who got passed down from who it was previously. Yeah. And soon Nikki's going to have to pass it down to somebody else. Okay. Nikki it is. All right. Um, now, we got Weekend or Drake? Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to think about that one. That was, yeah. Why are you picking Drake? I'm picking Drake because this man is versatile, man. So Drake reminds me of me when I get his age. The reason why I say that is because the same way he could flow and change up his flows and all that and doing this, I could do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Even though 
he just got the recognition and the the, the you know the fame yeah. so people don't really see me doing it but i feel like i feel the same way like i i could flow the same way i could do this i could do that i could rap i could sing yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's just different different things so definitely drake and drake drake is more more business to me yeah like, i don't really see you know weekend doing business stuff i just feel like people do the business for him oh, yeah okay all right um beyonce or rihanna Rihanna. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm sorry. I have nothing against the beehive. Yeah. I fuck with Beyonce. But Rihanna, I seen her come up from when she first came out. Yeah. To you know what I'm saying? Even though Beyonce did do have her come up too, but to me Beyonce had like a she had like a spoon. You know what I'm saying? She had like a silver spoon in this industry. True. Rihanna, Rihanna had to fight for her shit. And now she's a villain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's a different ball game right there. So definitely Rihanna. Okay, now, skinny girls or thick girls? I'm a thick girl lover, man. See, my girl is thick. You know what I'm saying? So I just, like, I can't really do nothing with a skinny girl. Okay, so why are you picking skinny girls? Huh? Why are you picking skinny girls? Nah, I picked the thick girls. You picked the thick? Oh, you picked yeah. Why? Why you pick the thick girls? I picked because it's like it's so what? Like, it's, <laughs> come on! Like, are you serious? It's, like. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to grab? Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm an ass man. You know okay. So I love when when my woman have ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could grab on it. If she's skinny, she's you might have some girls who's skinny with ass, but it's still like my whole hand could grab it. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to. I want to be able to. You feel me? Definitely. Sure. Definitely.